Kids obituaries are brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. Funeral Mass for Ann Gray, age 84 of Cullman, will be tomorrow, Tuesday, at 10 a.m. at Sacred Heart Catholic Church. Visitation will be this evening from 6.30 until 8 with the Rosary at 8 o'clock at Sacred Heart Church. Memorial service for Richard Luke Chedester, age 51, will be tomorrow, Tuesday at 2 o'clock at Moss Service Funeral Home Chapel. Visitation will be 1 until 2 at Moss Service Funeral Home. And those are our obituaries for today, brought to you by Moss Service and Hansville Funeral Home. I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank, and I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. With classic bolognese behind you, there are racks of lamb ahead. There are tartlets to take on and crazy knife skills to perfect. There is you and your muse, the appliance brand more chefs choose. Chefs choose KitchenAid for their homes more than any other brand. And when every machine does incredible things, there's so much more to make. Bank presents today on two. It is Monday, the 13th day of April after a beautiful weekend. It was gorgeous. gorgeous. It really was. It's going to rain again. <laughs> well, you know, we got to have the rain and make it so, have the sunshine uh, That's right. really exciting and also to have the grass grow and the flowers bloom and all that good stuff. Well, so. And it, you know, all it takes is uh, like a day of rain, a day of sunshine, and wow. Oh, I know. Everything, everything has popped, yeah. hasn't it? <clears throat> Yeah. I mowed my lawn, and two days later I need to mow it again. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, I mow the weeds, one or the other. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's start with a weather forecast, a weather brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. On the Almanac for the 13th of April in Coleman, the average high temperature is 73, the average low is 49, the record high 88 in 1930, the record low 25 in 1940. Sunset will be at 717, sunrise tomorrow at 617. There's the satellite picture, and you can see that stuff is headed our way. It is coming. It Matter is of fact, it looks coming. like probably within an hour or two, we're going to get some rain. Here's our forecast. 90% chance of showers today, high of 74. More of the same for tonight, 80% chance of rain, low of 64. And tomorrow, more, and look at here, the rest of the week, rain, 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 with temperature in the 70s. I looked so at the National Weather Service, and it didn't say rain all week long. It gave me a few days of sunshine, so I don't like this forecast. Okay, well, let's just change it to a different, <laughs> yeah, let's just different scratch weather this predicting. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just go to different weather uh Services, sites, yeah, and, sites, and take yeah. the one that you like the best. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't necessarily mean that that's the way it's going to be. That's right. <laughs> oh, well. Well, anyway. let's see. We have a Facebook friend that uh, we want to talk about for today. Or are we going to talk about the event? 
Okay, okay, here we go. Facebook Glenn friend. Gaines and Mr. Glenn Gaines like the, uh, likes Katoma Baptist Church and he likes Channel 2. Wow, we like All you, right. Glenn. You're our new BFF. And we're going to go ahead and give you a large barbecue sandwich from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. So come on by here first and pick up that certificate. But I think we were going to talk a little bit about Pilot yeah, the Club. Pilot Club uh, coming up next week. They are having their annual luncheon and fashion show in honor of administrative professionals. Of course, it used to be called Secretary's Day. It's $20 for the tickets. They're available at the museum, at the Civic Center, and at, from any Pilot Club member. This will be held next Wednesday, April the 22nd, at the Civic Center. Doors are open for shopping at the local store booths, and that's at 11. And then, of course, lunch is served at 11.30. The fashion show starts at 11.45. It ends exactly at noon. It's amazing how they... Um, noon or 1 o'clock. Excuse me, 1 o'clock. They give you an yeah. hour. And if so, if you're working, you still can fit in your hour and you can still go to the fashion show. And this is a great opportunity for bosses to really show their appreciation for their administrative professionals and buy them a ticket. But you have to do it by this Thursday. I think that's the deadline, correct? They do have a deadline, so. and usually it sells out. Right. So I yeah. would say if you want to go, don't wait till Thursday to get your tickets. Right, right. Got to go, go get one. I'm going to have to try to go get mine today. I hadn't thought that I think about they, it. Uh, they sell out at 400 Yes, because that's the capacity of the like, Civic Center, yeah, you know. You and this is always a great event because the local vendors and, and merchants are produce, you know, are helping to put the, together the fashion show. They'll have great fashions for all the ladies in mm -hmm. town and guys. There are usually some guys that are involved in it, too. So it's always a fun, fun time. It's a good way to just get, to get together with some of your girlfriends and go on over and have lunch. Okay, yeah. that's coming up next week. Coming yes, up today, is. who's our guest today? Well, today we have Miss Yolanda Hudson. Am I saying that right? Jolanda. Jolanda, okay. And uh, she is here with Dr. Pinehart, and they are representing the Good Samaritan Clinic. Jolanda is the new executive director. Is that your title? So, yeah, so we're excited about that. I think they've also got something coming up as well. So we're going to talk to them today. Okay, we'll do that right after this break. As soon as you've conquered Coco Vin, there's chocolate to souffle, there's baklava to build from scratch, and Bernays to top epic fillets. There is you and your guts, and heat that you can trust. KitchenAid Even Heat technology gives you incredible control over sautéing, melting, and simmering, and the most even baking across all racks. And when everything you try turns out, there's so much more to make. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. That changed my life. At that moment, it hit me. This is why I joined the Guard. We're soldiers, always ready to protect our country. But we've also got communities. Family, friends, neighbors who count on us. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. Somebody from my hometown. See what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Fire, accident, storm. They all happen in Coleman County. And for three generations, Night Free Insurance has been there for you. Continuing today with Elliott and Westcott Free, customizing your life, home, auto, and business insurance with companies like Auto Owners, State Auto, and Southern Guarantee. Call Westcott, Elliott, Judy, Tina, Angie, or Nelda. Night Free Insurance, where people are the difference. Well, 
Well, as we mentioned, we're going to talk about the Good Samaritan Clinic in Coleman. We have Jolanda Hudson. Jolanda is the Executive Director. Dr. Bill Feinhart is the Medical Director at Good Samaritan Clinic. Glad to have you on the show today. Thank you all for having Jolanda, us. Jolanda, you're the new Executive Director, yes. so give us some background about yourself. Okay. Um, I'm a native of Coleman. I've lived here all of my life. Um, I attended West Point High School in Wallace State. Um, after that, I went to Auburn University and received a degree in marketing. War Eagle. Yes. War Eagle. <laughs> but, and then about a year later, I decided I wanted to get my master's degree, so I went to the University of Alabama. Well, all right. So um, <laughs> my football allegiances are covered. Um, and so I'm married. Um, my husband and I have two sons. And um, early on in my career, I worked in very as marketing and strategic planning capacities with the UAB Health System um, and took a short um, break to raise my family and during that time I worked and volunteered with the Coleman City School System and um, so this position came open last year I pursued it and here I am I've been with the clinic since November so I'm still relatively new to the position and I'm just very thankful and blessed to, to be a part of Good Samaritan. We, um, the clinic provides a much needed and valuable service to the community. And I know, Dr. Pinehart, you probably have been volunteering from day one, knowing yes. you. Um, why did you want to get involved in the Good Samaritan Health Clinic? Well, you know, access to health care has always been a problem in our country. And uh, just looking at the local level, there were a lot of people who often are working and uh, even with their job, they don't have insurance, and especially if they have a chronic problem such as diabetes or high blood pressure, there's no way for them to be able to afford their care, their medicines, their lab work, their checkups. And so we originally started the clinic to fill that gap so that those people who did not qualify for Medicaid would have some way to get health care. So it's for those people that are working and that don't have insurance, yes. right? So if you have Medicaid, Medicare, you, you don't That's need to correct. go to clinic because, of course, you're obviously, you can go to the hospital yes. or to right. a doctor's office correct. or anything. So it's kind of for those people that, like I say, fall through mm -hmm. the crack. Right. So it's a good opportunity, and I really liked it from the very beginning mm -hmm. because of that follow-up. You know, you've got somebody who's got high blood pressure, diabetes. They really need to have continuous care. Yes. They need to mm -hmm. see somebody on a regular basis. And I also always felt like this was a way of getting people out of the emergency room for non-emergent yes. type Correct. situations. Mm -hmm. So the health clinic has been around since you said January 2004 okay. we saw our first patients and just a little bit about the history uh, we originally started seeing patients in a three-hour one evening a week medical clinic um, staffed by volunteer physicians and nurses. I've got a story on that Jackie. Okay. <laughs> okay share the, with us. the first night I think it was me and George Lyrene we had no idea what to expect so uh, we showed up and there were 45 patients sitting there waiting. Wow. <laughs> okay, rough night, especially if you've been working all day. After, after that, it got kind of settled down and planned out a little better. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. But that showed you the need right yes. away, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Originally, we provided care for chronic um, conditions, and we still provide care for that. But uh, we operate as a primary care clinic, and so we uh, offer a full range of services including medications and referrals to specialty physicians um, and so we're able to uh, our patients are able to establish uh, an ongoing relationship with their health care provider in the clinic and be able to be seen and treated for their chronic conditions as well as routine illnesses um, so it does provide a benefit not only to our patients and their families because they have somewhere to go to receive care but it also provides a benefit to our community as Dr. Pinehart said without access to the care that we provide at Good Samaritan many times our patients would go to the emergency room for their care right. and that's not good for them because they end up having to wait a while and their cost of treatment is um, more expensive than it is in a clinic setting right. many times the hospital you know has to provide charity care but it's not good for the patient either because if they come to us then they have that ongoing care exactly. and as an established patient we're able to see them very quickly usually within 24 hours of them mm -hmm. uh, needing an appointment right and so you've actually brought some video with you I think right I have um, the, I just the clinic? we would love to have people come visit uh, okay. us but we, since we can't bring all of your viewers to the clinic we okay. thought we'd bring the clinic to you all okay. and um, just kind of share a little bit about our clinic uh, let you see the clinic and let you meet some of our staff as well uh, we are located um, at 401 Arnold Street. Um, you may remember uh, 
this used to be the the old hospital mm -hmm. and so the clinic and the emergency room exit exactly exactly right? okay. and that's our clinic occupies the former emergency department um, and so we are one block east of Grace Episcopal. This is a shot of our waiting area here. Reception area. We don't want our patients to have to wait with right. it's our reception, reception area. Very good. Reception area. <laughs> this is another shot of our reception area. The window there is for our pharmacy. Um, our pharmacy is open and available to our patients um, during all medical clinic days. As you enter um, the exam areas, this is the hallway. You see our pharmacy on the left. Our dental clinic will be on the left. There's our pharmacy. Um, we, our patients, our established patients are provided their medications at no additional cost, uh, the majority of them. And um, they're able to pick up their medications um, during medical clinic hours, which is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 8 to 12, and then 1 to 4 on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. This is a shot of our dental clinic. Um, we offer uh, routine dental exams two evenings a month. Uh, there are 13 dentists in the area that volunteer their time and services. Um, we also have an x-ray machine. If it's determined that one of our patients needs a dental extraction, then we're able to put them on a schedule again on a rotating basis for our dental providers and they go into that dentist's office and receive um, the care. Um, that's um, a shot of our um, reception area in the back when patients have come in and they're waiting to have lab work done or waiting to see our nurse practitioner. That's just an additional shot of our reception area. This is our nurses station and lab. Um, we see patients on Wednesday mornings in addition to normal clinic hours for lab work. You have, looks like, all the modern, pretty much everything a doctor's office would yes. have. We know? do, and the majority of the equipment that you see was donated. It wasn't new, mm -hmm. but it's still in very good working condition. Um, we have three medical exam rooms. This is one of them. See the EKG machine? Okay. There. And we're able to provide a great deal of care for our diabetic patients. We um, can provide them with monitors, lancets, and test strips oh, at no wow. cost to them. It does wow. cost us, of course, mm -hmm. but we're able to provide that to our diabetic patients so they can uh, receive ongoing care for their conditions. This is, um, these are um, members of our board. Uh, we have, we are managed by a 14 member board of directors. Um, four of them were not able to be in that picture, but we um, are very blessed with a very active and supportive board um, representing various disciplines in the community. We have nurses, attorneys, physicians, um, just uh, like I said, a wide range, a, a certified public accountant and um, they are very active and very thankful for all that they do and all the support that they give um, Good Samaritan. We have with us today Dr. Pine Hart, who is our medical director. Um, he is our nurse practitioner's collaborative physician. Um, Dr. Um, Jeremy Stidham and Dr. Ben Rogers, they are backup physicians if Dr. Pine Hart happens to not be available. And the three of these physicians, as you know, are affiliated with Coleman Internal Medicine, right. and they see our patients on a rotating basis in our evening clinic. Okay. Um, now, this is Carol Livingston. She is our nurse practitioner. She's been with the clinic um, for about eight years. This is Cindy Barnett. She's our office manager. She manages the day-to-day -day operations of the clinic, um, staffing, scheduling, and things of that nature. Megan Williams is our receptionist. She's the one that will greet you when you come to the clinic and receive your application. Um, Tisha Twilley is our lab tech. Um, she's a certified phlebotomy technician. She started out with the clinic as a volunteer, and then after about three months, she did such a good job, they decided to hire her for a paid position. Um, she's been with the clinic for five years, and she's absolutely wonderful with our patients. Brittany Wood is our office assistant. Um, she assists um, at the front and um, just doing whatever needs to be done around the clinic. Miranda Baumgartner, she's our uh, pharmacy technician. She's been with the clinic a little over a year. 
Judy Thomason. Um, she is our patient advocate. She works with our patient assistance program, which is a program that um, she works with established pharmaceutical companies to um, apply for medications for our patients. Uh, we're very fortunate to be able to receive our medications through the patient assistance program as well as through um, donations um, in the community. Carol Robertson, she's been a volunteer um, at the clinic for about nine years. She's absolutely wonderful, sweet, sweet lady. Um, she helps receive um, the applications. She compiles them, assembles patient charts and that type of thing. Just really whatever needs to be done. Connie Canada, she is our um, audiologist. She's a retired audiologist. She's been seeing patients um, in the clinic since its inception in 2004. She comes in on the second, uh, excuse me, the first Thursday of each month to do hearing evaluations for our patients that may need that. And if a patient is determined to need a hearing aid, then we're able to, to get them some assistance yeah. with that as well. A lot of staff. It's definitely grown, hasn't it, Dr. Brown? really has, Jackie. I was just sitting here thinking about uh, how it has expanded, and it expands even beyond the uh, pictures you see here. I was, I was thinking, uh, Jolanda, about our referrals. Um, we have physicians, of course, that come to the clinic, but a lot of physicians will take patients in referral, mm -hmm. uh, surgeons, specialists, and we really need to be appreciative of them also right. because uh, the hospital has stepped forward and it provides a lot of referral services for us, but uh, we're able to get procedures done through some of the specialists, and uh, th that's just been a tremendous addition and, and help to the clinic. Yeah, definitely. Well, do you have something going on? Because I know that you've got like an upcoming event. You don't have it all finalized yet, but do you want to talk about that for just a minute? We have just a minute left. Well, we wanted to talk about um, our evening clinic. Um, we have uh, an evening clinic on the second Tuesday evening of each month starting at 5 um, for our patients um, and it starts at 5 we have uh, Dr. Jeremy Stidham will be in the clinic tomorrow evening to see the patients and we offer an evening clinic for a couple of reasons um, the majority of our patients come from a working household and so many times um, it's a hardship in order for them to be able to take off work to be seen so we, we want to offer this as an option for them but also as um, Dr. Pinehart indicated it also gives an opportunity for um, um, physicians and medical staff in the community to take part in the clinic and that's something that we want to to really be more aware of because this really is community serving community mm -hmm. and it gives um, um, for, uh, medical professionals like doctors and physicians and lab technicians the opportunity to give back to the community and come in and be a part of what we're doing so that's another reason that we we want to to offer that right and it's hard for the doctors to take away from their practice during the day mm -hmm. exactly to be able to volunteer so so exactly. that's a, it's a, it's a good thing and we've kind of gotten away from volunteers a little bit as you can see mm -hmm. and I would imagine that um, our patient volume has increased since we started back in 2004 and so last year we had over about 600 active patients uh -huh. so as you can imagine we would not be able to provide the care that they need with a volunteer staff right. so we've um, we've hired paid staff to be consistent and provide that ongoing care and we've kind of gotten away from volunteers but we don't want that to stay that way we want to encourage people to volunteer mm -hmm. um, to if you're interested if you are a physician or a nurse or a lab technician have an interest please let us know we welcome you to do that and if you're non-medical and you still would like to have a part in the clinic we encourage that as well we have opportunities for that Carol Robertson who is our volunteer she's been involved for years and um, she does not have a medical background but she's able to do a great deal of service for us um, I know some church organizations like um, service projects and so if you're interested in doing something as a group on a routine basis we welcome you to provide a meal for our evening clinic um, because our staff and volunteers have worked a full day and it's just a treat to come in and to be fed and to continue seeing patients. So we welcome opportunities for that as well. Where, where does most of the funding come for the clinic? The community. Uh, we could not provide the services that we do without the support of the community, not only in volunteers, as Dr. Um, Pinehart alluded to, with our um, specialty physicians that, that see our patients, but also monetary support. Uh, Coleman Regional Hospital provides a great deal of support to us in terms of helping us to navigate the process, their nurse navigation program. If we have a patient who re needs more specialized care, then we're able to call them and they're able to, to help us navigate the process to get our patients in for more specialized care and diagnostic testing um, and also um, 
our space, uh, USA Healthcare has been very supportive of the clinic from its inception. Mm -hmm. We have very, uh, very several businesses in the area that provide in-kind services and products to us. Um, so as far as, that is probably the biggest challenge that we see at the clinic is providing funding and seeking funding um, for the clinic. Um, as most nonprofit organizations, we rely solely on donations and grants and the support of the community in order to provide the services that we do. And we have seen a decline in the recent months. I'm sure you've read in the paper um, the decline in grant funding and um, and that type of thing. So, um, and I think a lot of that has to do with just people not being as aware of the clinic as they have in the past and really not understanding the services and the benefits that we provide not only to our patients but also to the community as a whole. Um, and also um, the Affordable Care Act. Um, I don't claim to know a lot about that, but I do know according to the National Association of Free and Charitable Clinics that um, there are individuals who fall in that coverage gap where their income is too high to qualify for Medicaid, but too low to be able to receive those public subsidies and tax credits that they need to purchase insurance on the healthcare marketplaces. Mm -hmm. So um, Dr. Pinehart and I were just talking about that before the interview. There's a lot that, that we don't understand, but we do understand that there is still a need and that there are still um, individuals in our community who cannot afford health care. Right. And so this gives us an opportunity as a community really to come alongside of them and to give them access to the health care that they need. Yeah. I'm sure a lot of people would wonder that the uh, Affordable Care Act wouldn't have put us out of business. And at first we wondered that, Dennis, you know, that it might. Uh -huh. But we haven't seen our numbers drop and there's still a lot of people out that need there's care. Still, there's still a lot of people that don't have insurance, yes. even though it was supposed to cover everybody. Yep. So, right. you know, that's a just whatever. But yeah. Anyway. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here today. We sure do appreciate it. And like I say, I think you have something coming up. And when you want to mm -hmm. get, if we get a little mm -hmm. closer to time, if you want to come mm -hmm. back and talk about that. Okay. We'll that would be great. Because I don't think you have everything finalized right now. That's correct. So. I would like to share just briefly about the application process do I have a moment to do that sure okay as far as to in order to apply we only see patients that have qualified for our services so in order to apply complete an application and we'll ask you to provide um, your um, proof of residency um, proof of income and identification and once you complete that um, process then we're able to make a determination very quickly if you would qualify for our services and our patients do have to requalify each year and pay a twenty dollar annual fee um, but that 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 twenty dollar nominal fee provides them access to the care and services through our clinic um, and so we do encourage people don't wait until you're sick right. to decide to come to the Good Samaritan I had a chance to talk to a patient the other day they found out about our services when her husband was in the hospital and so they both applied for services she didn't really she wasn't sick she didn't need services but she eventually got sick and she was so thankful that she had already been accepted as a patient and we were able to see her very quickly in the clinic so, so she didn't have to go through that process and so forth. exactly so, yeah. exactly okay. well thank you so much for being here today sure thank you for having us. it and people need thank to remind, you, remember thank that you, if they have if they want to give to somebody the Good Samaritan Clinic is always willing to accept donations exactly <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> okay stay tuned we'll be back with more right after this I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank. And I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Life lived in black and white is not a life lived. Today, I choose color. To see it. To feel it. To be in it. To be upon it. And to live a life surrounded by it. Today, 
I put on a fresh coat. We continue with more today on two. Let's see if we can give away some prizes for today. We have the sausage biscuit from Bojangles in Coleman. And we have a free haircut courtesy of Hair by Loretta and the family barbecue pack from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue. Those are the Monday prizes. Here we go with our ads for today. We'll ask you a question about one of these ads. We start with Grand Point Pharmacy and a gift shop. And of course they make managing your prescriptions easy because managing your health is hard enough, but they have a whole lot more. Grand Point Pharmacy and Gifts. Mullins Body Shop. You've counted on them for over 50 years for auto body repair, towing, and service. And you can count on them today. Mr. Hicks Menswear and Formal Wear. Tuxedos are available for proms, for weddings, for, well, any special occasion. Mr. Hicks is your tuxedo destination in Coleman. And hair by Loretta. <laughs> hair by Loretta. Let's get that one out. Color specialist, hair care for the entire family in our new location right there at Bella Fair Day Spa and Salon. The Berkeley Bob's Coffee House and Whole Earth Store, a complete espresso bar. You can buy bulk coffee and tea. And let's see, coming up Friday, Debbie Bond and the Doodats. True Dats, okay, <laughs> and Saturday night, Justin Johnson. And Tires for Less, oil change, minor engine repair, shocks and brakes, alignments, they can do it all. And of course, give you some new tires, sell you some new tires at Tires for Less. Pizza Hut has the all-you-can-eat lunch buffet, a different pizza served every day, and it's just $5.99, and also served on Sunday evening, that's Pizza Hut. And Deb's Bookstore, where gift certificates are always available. It's your hometown bookstore just down the road, located right there across from the Chamber of Commerce on Highway 278. That's Deb's Bookstore. There we go with some of our merchant ads. Question for today is about Mullins Body Shop. There's a picture of a mechanic in that ad. Mm -hmm. What is the mechanic doing? Now that's a loaded question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or what part of the vehicle is he operating on? Yeah. Give me an idea about the picture in the Mullins Body Shop ad. 256-734-7399 is our telephone number. And let's see, we have barbecue from Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue, haircut by Loretta, yeah. and the sausage biscuit from Bojangles, Bojangles. our prizes for today. Yeah. Go ahead and call in right now while we watch Money Matters, brought to you by Premier Bank. I'm Caitlin with Premier Bank, and this is Allison Lewis. She's our Good Hope Office Manager. Today, Allison's going to tell us a little bit about what it takes to get a car loan. I want to talk to the young people out there who are approaching their 16th birthday and they're thinking about purchasing their first car. One thing that you may not know is that most institutions do require a down payment, which is a percentage of the purchase price paid in cash by you. And the more your vehicle costs, the more your down payment's going to be. So as you approach your 16th birthday, be thinking about how you can save your money so that you'll be prepared to pay your down payment. If you have any questions, you can stop by her Good Hope office and see Allison, or you can come by any of our other eight locations or give us a call at 256-737-9900. Thanks, and we hope to see you soon. I think we stumped the audience. We don't so. have any phone calls today and the uh, Mullins Body Shop ad and the mechanic is, the car is up on a lift. Is up yeah, there doing something. Up and underneath it. Yeah. Pounding out a fender. Yeah, something. Something, something like no that. No telling what he's doing. <laughs> okay, let's look at the rest of our merchant ads right now. Done right taxes and bookkeeping service remind you Wednesday, two days away, Woo! the tax filing deadline. Unless you need an extension, they could help you out with that too. Either way, uh, done right tax service. Steel Orchard, highest quality products at the lowest possible price since 1985. Check out their baked items as well as their fresh fruit at Steel Orchard. Looking for something to do? Let's see, coming up on Friday is the mother-daughter pajama party and the father-son night out. 
check with the uh, Wellness and Aquatic Center for complete details like what time to show up. And Mad Dog Mike's Famous Barbecue is featuring the Family Barbecue Pack for just $15.99. It's a pound of meat, two 16 outsides, and four buns. The blizzard of the month <sighs> is the Salted Caramel Truffle Blizzard. You get truffle pieces, chocolate chunks, cocoa fudge, and salted caramel. Oh, that sounds so yummy. Mm. Salted caramel is my new thing. <laughs> Be fit at the fitness facility in downtown Coleman, right next to Renard's Gallery. A great way to work off that blizzard that That's you just That's right. Had. There's Earl's Body Shop, voted best in automotive repair. They do towing. Of course, they do auto body repair. They're on the north side of town on Highway 31 North in the Vinemont area. Chesley Oak Golf Course, seven days a week, seven to seven. Four sets of tees to suit golfers of all abilities, located right there in the uh, Fairview area, right at Chesley Oaks. There we go, the merchant ads we have for today, and we'll continue our program and check out birthdays, anniversaries, and things to do around town. I remember the moment clearly. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. I realized that moment. When we first saw the damage, these people really needed us. And I was going to make a difference right here in my community. Together with local responders, we cleared trees and collapsed walls. We had to get to the family trap beneath. As a citizen soldier, I made a difference. Be there for your community at NationalGuard.com. Hi, I'm Jay Mullins with Premier Bank, and I'm Jacob Mullins. For more than 26 years, we've been providing friendly personal banking services to the citizens of Coleman and surrounding counties. We continue to provide new and improved services to our customers, and we even have a new look. So come by and see us at any of our nine convenient locations. And remember, the same friendly personal service, and we're open on Saturdays. Overwhelmed by home refinancing offers from telephone solicitors and direct mail advertising and then find you're not qualified for a specific plan? The Mortgage Center, a hometown lender, compares the rates from all home loan lenders and the qualifications of the various government programs to find a plan best suited to you. The Mortgage Center helps Coleman County people purchase and refinance their homes. This is Pat Moody. Call us today and let us tailor a loan program to your specific needs and requirements. Let's take a look at those community billboards brought to you by Pepsi and Coleman Jefferson Gas. Candlelight Vigil will be held on April the 16th at 6.30 in the evening at Coleman Depot Park in remembrance of children who died from abuse and pray for current victims and survivors. The Coleman City Schools Foundation will be presenting their 2015 Distinguished Alumni Bearcat Tour and Taste. That's on April the 17th at 5 in the evening, and that's just $25. It's at Coleman High School Auditorium, honoring Teachers of the Year and Distinguished Alumni. And the Here For You Tour will be taking place on the 17th as well at the Coleman Civic Center at 7 o'clock. Tickets can be purchased at itickets.com featuring Hawk Nelson and the Afters. And the April walking tours take place every Saturday beginning at 10 o'clock. Go and be guided through the historical downtown area. Just start at the Coleman County Museum. Coleman County and City Cleanup is going to be taking place on April the 18th from 8 until 12. Items that they cannot take are tires, paint, and chemicals. But for more information and dumpster locations, give them a call 256-775-4696. Get moving. You can join up with this virtual step challenge, uh, uh, hiking the Appalachian Trail anytime until, uh, well, it's now through May the 27th, but you need to get started so you can count your steps. It's free to the Coleman County community. Form a team now. Register online at colemangetmoving.fivy.com. And Wes Hampton is a Gaither vocal band tenor, and he is going to be at St. John's Church on May the 3rd. Tickets are just $10. It's going to be held in their Christ Hall at 6 p.m. Doors open at 5.30. And if you have a community billboard, you can send it to our webpage at channel2coleman.com, email us at channel2coleman at gmail.com, phone us at 256-734-7399, or like us on Facebook at Channel2Coleman. 
And we have several birthdays to announce. Let's see, we'll start with Rachel Calhoun, Stephen McNeil, Shirley Quattlebaum, Peyton Little Jr., and Dan Fuller. And of course, their names will be put into the drawing on uh, Friday where they have that possibility of winning an ice cream cake from Dairy Queen. Now let's check the weather forecast brought to you by Mitch Smith Chevrolet on Cherokee Avenue. It's going to be a rainy day. Actually, the whole week looks like it's going to rain off and on. 74 for the high today with a 90% chance of rain. 64 the overnight low, 75 the high for tomorrow. That's it for today. Thank you for watching Today on 2. Hope you have a great day.